All right, I'm looking at another periodal today. I haven't done one of these for a while. So this is like Wordle, but all of your guesses have to be made up of uh, abbreviations for elements on the periodic table. Um, now I like to use single letters as much as I can at the beginning. Um, see, we could do something like choose. That's a double O though. How about choice? Choice would work. It's four individual letters. It's kind of fun to say get your choice of starting guess. Now, so this is yellow. The O is yellow. The H is orange. Now I do have high contrast mode turned on. So whether they're actually yellow and orange, I don't know. But they are the equivalent of the yellow and orange in the game. So uh, green means it's in the right spot. Yellow means this letter, this, this element is somewhere in the answer. The oxygen is somewhere in the answer. Not just that there's an O, but that the oxygen itself is in the answer. Now the orange one here means that hydrogen is not in the answer, but there is an H in the answer. So we need to have an H, you know, like a helium or something, right? Uh, an H with another letter. Um, that's probably not gonna be like BH or NH. Those are less likely. So what, what could it be with the H? Obviously helium. Helium is good. Uh, not HF, I don't like that. I don't like a lot of these. RH, maybe. It's not great either. HG, probably not. Now HO, HO isn't bad. Um, there could be two O's, you know, we could do something like HOO, -O, like, um, I don't know what the HO element is, but we could do that and then oxygen, something like this. And then hook, hooking. Oh, we can't quite do hooking. Cause there's no G or NG. Hook. Uh, well, it's probably not gonna be the answer, but we could do hookers. <laughs> um, though that means somebody who takes takes a hook and hooks fish. That's that's what a hooker is, someone who hooks things. Um, you know, it's not a terrible guess actually, because the K and the S are two more. I mean, the K is not as good, but the S is a good letter to try. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so it's not H-O, and we still haven't found the O. The O needs to be somewhere. Uh, there's no S, so let's look, keep looking. What are the possibilities for H besides H-E? I, I think, I think it's gonna be H-E somewhere. Hmm, so, I mean, it could be at the beginning here. H-E, what, H-E? We could do something, a Y maybe, something like this. We could also do like uh, something before the H-E. We can't do an S. Well, we could do P-H-E, I guess. Otherwise, I don't know what is gonna come, because for single letters, we don't really have anything else that goes before an H. Ooh, it could be W. W, we don't want to forget about tungsten. That's not too bad. But I'm not sure what's gonna come, I mean, we could do something like another E maybe, but then you can't do like wheel, yeah, I don't, I don't like, mm, what about R? Could we do R, where, where something, where, no, no, I don't know. So if it's before the H, I feel like it's gotta be maybe a P. Let's try something with an H-E at the beginning. Let's try that. I like the O second to last. I was thinking O-Y. But I can't think of anything there. O-N maybe? Let's see, could we do something... Ooh, uh, if we did silver, a gone, uh, yeah, platinum. It's platinum, silver, heptagon. Let's try heptagon. Oh, it's Heptagon! Wow! Okay. I didn't expect that to be the answer. I was just thinking that was good letters to guess. Okay, Heptagon. Well, there you go. Um, I feel like I pulled that out of nowhere. Just super lucky. But anyways, there you go. That was that was crazy. So that is a little bit of a tricky one with the PT. The, the trick there is, you know, there's a lot of these abbreviations that you feel like, oh, you're never going to use that because the letters don't go together very well. But 
it can be the end and the start of two syllables. Uh, so, you know, like, even H, F, R, F, you could use those potentially if, if it was the start and the end of a syllable, so. Anyways, alright, Heptagon, let me know how you did with today's period. I'll be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100 without oh, okay. making it to Oh, that was really one. good. On the left, awesome. Ballet over here, okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking now. Alf... Alphabet. Alphabet. There we go, that's a good one.